I wanted to ponder this question for all of us to contemplate. And it's about the recent accolades and success last epoch has received since February 21st. Now, please don't get me wrong. Clearly, the server issues that they had the moment the game was launched and players not being able to log into the game. And it took days to fix. And actually, as of the recording of this video, I would imagine there still are some problems, but for the most part, it looks like they're turning the corner on that issue. So I understand major, major problem with the release of Last Epoch. However, the game in the face of that is still getting amazing accolades. You only have to go as far as going on Steam DB, where the game is played, Steam. And if you look at their numbers, approval rating of 70%, they're, they still have a positive review, even though they got review bombed because of the server issues. You look at the max concurrent player count, it was at 265,000. So at one point since February 21st of the launch, there was 265,000 players playing the game. Heck, even on weekdays, there are over 200,000 people plus playing the game during the week. The numbers are astonishing for an indie studio like 11th Hour Games. And that made me ponder the question, what's going on with the ARPG space right now? Is there rumblings or is it prime for there to be a shakeup. And I want to back up that comment with the following argument. Again, I understand there are a lot of other ARPGs in the space, so please don't get me wrong, but I don't think you can argue that for the most part, when you mention ARPGs, Path of Exile and Diablo, and in this case, Diablo 4, always get mentioned as the top dogs for a lack of a better term. And although I would say Path of Exile and Grinding Gear games have done a better job in improving their game, and what I mean by that is clearly Grinding Gear games has seen that the original Path of Exile has basically reached its limit. They, they self-proclaimed have mentioned the fact that they understand that Path of Exile has a ceiling because of the higher barrier to entry and the huge learning curve and the amount of hours you need to dump into that game in order to fully understand the mechanics of the game. That scares a lot of players and keeps a lot of players away. And Grinding Gear Games was smart enough to understand that and said, what are we going to do about it? And hence why they're working on Path of Exile 2, which is coming this summer. In some sense, Grinding Gear Games is evolving and realized Path of Exile has a, has a ceiling. We got to create a game that is more accessible to a wider audience and a huge, a much larger player base. Now, when it comes to the other big boy in the ARPG space, we have Activision Blizzard King, who has been there basically since day one. Heck, Diablo 2 Resurrected literally put the ARPG in the genre. To this day, games still copy their style, their mechanics, how the game was developed and designed. It set the bar high and it set the standard, period. So when it comes to ARPG, you can basically say Activision Blizzard King is the poster boy thanks to Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Resurrected for that matter. But one could argue they really haven't done anything innovative since 
And with that foundation, enter 11th hour games. They have been in early access mode for approximately five years, putzing around, trying to make their game better, improving certain aspects. And with 1.0, their dream of going and leaving early access to go to full release, there was a lot of things they did to improve last epoch. And we now know what they are. They improved the game graphically, which personally I thought was much needed. The game looks sharper and crisper. It's been updated. It has a 2024 look much needed graphical enhancement. The game introduced a faction system, which gives more end game content. The faction system addresses the need of players that want to buy and sell items. And it also addresses players who play solo self found and want to earn the items that they get. In Last Epoch, the constant thread, basically what ARPGs are about, it's in Last Epoch, and that is loot. ARPGs and loot are synonymous with each other. This is why people play ARPGs. It's loot, loot, loot. It's all about the loot. Well, when it comes to Last Epoch, loot is a shining star in that game. Loot matters in that game. On top of the faction system, the classes and the class balance and the class variety that's in Last Epoch, they have five classes, each with three masteries, two new masteries being added to the release of Last Epoch 1. Therefore, making it a grand total of 15 masteries over five classes. So when it comes to build variety, Last Epoch delivers it in spades. The learning curve to skills and the skill trees, whether it's class skills, whether it's mastery skills, very easy to learn. It is not as complicated as PoE, and it's not as easy and restrictive as Diablo 4. It's complex enough for it to be fun and interesting, but yet easy enough that anyone can learn the skill trees and how to utilize and match up skills. It truly is accessible to anyone that's playing Last Epoch. You don't need to know anything when it comes to the skills and the skill trees and the classes and the masteries when it comes to Last Epoch. You could literally learn and thrive on the fly when it comes to Last Epoch. The itemization in the game with the loot and the crafting, again, from the second you load in to Last Epoch, you have crafting at your fingertips ready to go. And again, it's a system that's not hard to learn and not hard to master. Weaving a nice balance of complexity and ease to learning the game. The game really, there's one constant thread of this game. And this is why this game continues to blow the player count out of the water. And that is because every facet of this game screams, you could do that. It's easy to learn. It's easy to understand. But yet, at this, in the same breath, it provides complexity in whatever road you want to go down. 
it also gives you the variety of doing what you want to do. The game has been built so well. When it comes to ARPGs and something that for the most part, the big players miss and have missed out over these many, many years that this genre has been thriving. And that is really 11th Hour Games has made a game that's accessible to everybody and that everyone can thrive in. And more importantly, that people are having fun in. You know, I said it in my last video. You know, I, I've been streaming Last Epoch since the day it was released. And every night I have people coming in my stream telling me how happy they are with the game. How they love the variety. And actually, I get the comments about what should I play? They all look good. I'm, I don't know which one to play first. And they're asking me, what should I play first? They all look amazing. Like, just think about that for a second and how exciting that is that a game has that to offer where the player base is, it's like a kid in a candy store. You don't know which candy to grab first because they all look delicious. Like, unbelievable, well done 11th hour games. And I want to ponder the question, could this be a shakeup in the ARPG space? And, you know, when we talk about 11th hour games and, and you know, rightfully so, what I'm about to say, they're an indie studio. They haven't done anything. They haven't proved anything prior to 1.0. So they've earned that reputation. They're an indie studio. Yeah, all right. They make it. Yeah, last epoch. It's an all right game. Yeah, but it's not PoE. It's not Diablo 4. It's not Diablo 2. You know, that kind of sentiment, that kind of comment. But I have to say, I think this potentially could be their coming out party. They have really captured... They've really captured the players that play this genre. They really have. They are going to this game in droves. The price point is good. The game is amazing. It's easy to learn, yet complex enough to keep you interested. And the variety in the game, like I said earlier, and you know, itemization, crafting, this game basically puts everything in your hands and says, do what you want with it if that makes any sense. And, and what I mean by that is you want to play a range play style, you can play range. You want to play melee, you can play melee. You want to throw lightning down from the sky, you can throw lightning down from the sky. You want to hurl fireballs, you can hurl fireballs. You want to be a holy paladin or throw hammers around, you can throw hammers around. You get my point. The variety in the skills and the classes is just unbelievable. And they they put crafting in your hands right from the get-go. And you and you know what the other thing is? You don't even have to craft if you don't want to. You could go and play the game. I wouldn't suggest it, but you could literally not craft. Again, the choice is yours, the player. You're missing gold? Then go run the monoliths and target farm the ones that give you gold. You need to upgrade your chess piece? Then go and farm a chess piece and the monolith that drops chess pieces. Or you can buy a chess piece that you want through the faction system. The point is you have freedom in what you do. You have freedom in the choices you make. The game doesn't pigeonhole you in and back you into a corner. You are not waiting to reach 
the middle of the game or the max level of the game until you feel powerful or you get the skills that you have that are powerful. You get that right from the get go. And improving your player, the gear, the weapons, you feel it. The combat mech mechanics in this game are also been improved and feel nice in your hands, if that makes any sense. I would put the following question to all of you. Is Last Epoch, is this their coming out party? I think moving forward, remember, this is their first full release. They were early access before. This is their first step. And they already have all those items that I mentioned to you. They're not being talked about and designed and they're coming down and talked about. It's in the game. Really, and I've said this in all my last Epoch videos, really, the variety in the end game is the only aspect that needs to continually grow and be added to. And 11th Hour Games has already communicated to everyone that their number one priority moving forward outside of the release of 1.0 is adding to the end game. So the thing that's really astonishing about 11th Hour Games is how a indie studio of, I think they're under a hundred people, if I'm not mistaken, how they could have developed such a beautiful game that's fun. You talk to anyone that's playing Last Epoch and you come back to me and tell me they didn't mention the word fun. I'm having a great time. I'm having an amazing time. I can't wait to try this class. I tried this class. I had so much fun. Now I'm trying. You come back to me and tell me that's not what you heard because that's at least what I'm hearing. 99.9% .9 of the time. Now, of course, the server issues come up as well, but that is going to go away and has gone away for the most part. But what really is going to be a make or break and what really needs to be addressed and talked about is what is the game like? What is the game like? That's the important part. So I want to ask you and pose the question to you, this may be the time that the way we speak about 11th hour games in last epoch, I think this is going to be a growth spurt for them, not only in the amount of players that are playing it, but also the way we talk about last epoch. It's, it's not the, it's not the uncle anymore that you don't want to see or that like, yeah, he's nice, but he's really not relevant. I really think this is going to put them at the forefront in the ARPG space. And it's a mixture of two things of is why I feel this way. Number one, 11th Hour Games has done an amazing job with the game. And clearly their innovation in their studios are like their studio is unbelievable. So they should be applauded for that. And it's because of that, that they are reaping their rewards. But also, I think, for the most part, the big boys kind of left the door open for someone to walk in because of their lack of, a, of innovation. And I'm speaking more about Activision Blizzard King than I am about grinding your games. Because let's be honest, right now we're talking about Last Epoch and how it can potentially jump out front and we're not talking about Diablo 4 we're talking about Last Epoch but when PoE 2 comes into the forefront with the beta you know four months from now five months from now this is going to be another discussion we're going to be having about the evolution in the ARPG space because I, I don't doubt for one second grinding gear games and PoE 2 is going to be another step forward for the ARPG space. Um, that I'm pretty confident about. It's going to be very interesting to see, but 
I really do think if 11th Hour Games continues to innovate how they have been and this 1.0 is the first step of many when it comes to what they're doing to their game and how good it is, they are going to continue to climb that ladder and they're not going to be the, the little guy anymore. They're going to be at the forefront of discussions. Now that comes with some responsibility and that's a ways way down the road. But I just wanted to make this video because, you know, a lot of people are talking about how great um, Last Epoch is, how much fun they're having. Of course, they're also talking about the server issues. But for the most part, people are like, wow, this game is good. This game, I'm having fun. But a lot of people are still having the same sentiment about them. It's They're just an indie studio. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's like they don't get respect. They're always going to be seen as the small guy and really not relevant. That's a strong word, but you guys, would, I hope you get what I'm saying. I think this is going to change their perception, not only with the players, but from their peers. This is serious stuff what they did. They should be applauded for it. Um, and they are to some degree with the amount of people that bought the game and the amount of people that are playing the game. But it should also be recognized by everyone that this is truly a remarkable game and only time will tell if they're going to be able to sustain it, if they're going to be able to grow it, if they're going to be able to grow their player base, even though right now they're knocking it out of the park. Because really... That will be the true test of whether they even deserve to be considered a top dog in this industry. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, a lot of people are saying, chill, Sammy, relax, okay? It looks good, but this is nowhere near PoE or Diablo 4. They don't, they, you know, yeah, that kind of stuff, right? Well, I'm here to tell you something. This might be the start of something wonderful when it comes to 11th hour games and last epoch i suspect and i've said this already that if they continue down this road i don't think there's anything stopping them to be honest with you i'm not saying they're going to be the guy in the space but they will definitely be in the top bracket of that space if they continue to innovate like they're innovating. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I would really love to know it. If you're playing Last Epoch, what are you playing? Are you having fun? What do you think? And I'd also like to hear from players if you're, if you're having any more issues with the server, loading in time, LE61, you know, all that kind of stuff. I personally haven't experienced anything in days now. I think the worst thing I got was I you know, maybe a 45, one minute whole time transitioning into another zone during the campaign. But other than that, it's been uh, easy peasy sailing through. So let me know if you're having any more uh, experiences with the server. I know in certain regions of the world, depending on what server you're on, there's, there still might be some issues. So I'd like to hear from you as well. Anyway, Thank you for watching, everybody. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.